in Sogakopi of Ghana. A sweet heat of Africa is blazing. I tell you what, there's a lot of activity happening around me. The motorbikers plying their trade with great felicity of style. The market women busy basking in the activities of the day. But that's not the focus. The focus is for us to have a conversation with a young budding talent from Africa. Musician KD Bakes. He's a nurse, he's a musician, he comes to the table with his medical experience, plus he has a lot of musical talent. So which is why we came to Sogakope to check out, well, Medlook Ghana Limited, that's the clinic where he applies the street. Check it out. KD Bakes in here. Sure, KD Bakes will be busy at this point trying to fix out some medical issues. Ha, 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 knock, knock, knock. Yay, KD Bakes! <laughs> How you doing, my brother? I'm great. Everything great. cool? Yeah, everything is great, strong. man. You look different in your grub. Uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is on the other side of me. Mm. But anyway, welcome. welcome. Thank you very much. Thank welcome. you very much. So, this, this is one of the many hospitals or many clinics that you apply your trade in. Yeah, yeah. First of all, KD Bakes, mm. where does it come from? Is that your official name? Uh, oh, no, no, that's not my official name. Okay. My, my official name is Wisdom Della okay. Bruku. Okay, so where from KD Bakes? KD Bakes is, is just... Is, for the stage name, the music name. I see, yeah, yeah. interesting. So how long have you been doing music? I've been doing music for nine and a half years. Nine and a half years. Nine and a half years. And nursing? Nursing, I, well, I, I just completed nursing uh, college um, last two years. I had okay. my uh, national service last year. Okay. And I just started working this year. Okay, you didn't train here, did you? I did train here, okay. but I, I, um, I had a few training outside Ghana also in okay. Germany. Germany, okay, yeah. I see. Yeah. So so you're practicing as a, what, a general nurse, a pediatrician? Yeah. I'm what a general nurse. A general nurse, I'm I'm a general I see, nurse. interesting. Yeah. That. How's it treating? How are you able to manage both? I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it's um, a more discipline. Okay. You have to be disciplined because every nurse is disciplined. Mm. So I, I actually thank those who train me, you okay. know. Uh, is you have to be self-disciplined. Mm. You have to be determined when you know what you want. Mm. Then you have to strive hard to go in for it. Okay. You know, mm. and so it's it's about self-discipline, your determination, and the people around you. Okay. If the people around you uh, cannot connect with you, if they don't share the same vision with you, mm. it's going to be very difficult for you okay. to to work. For instance, you standing right mm -hmm. here, if you don't have cameramen to film you, right. you, you don't have a show. Yeah, I ain't got no show. Yeah, yeah, right. that's it. And so uh, all of these things uh, come together right. to, to form me, to form Katie Bakes mm -hmm. and to form Roku Wisdom. Uh, I see you have some equipment there. Okay, of so course. let's take a seat. I, I want to check yeah, yeah. my vital stats. Yeah, you can please see. Can I? Katie Bakes. I just smash another team's beat banger. And I go to carry all over cause I be loaded like tanker. All the talks and plenty 18 no go slow my fire. Be ready for platinum because I... So Katie Bakes, how do you write your songs? Uh, this is a very deep question because right. I have graduated actually from writing songs to just having to listen to the instrumental and, mm -hmm. and sing it out of my head. But a lot of things drive me to write songs. But my, my concepts are um, mostly generated from the things around me, my personal life, okay. the things I go through, mm. from the personal lives of other people, and the things that are going on in my environment. So, so you're saying that back in the day, you used to write the songs? Yes. And then to sing them out in the studio? Yes, I used to have a very big book. Like, like this one? Yes, a very like big what, book. One of the corners <laughs> writes there, my told me. So... But so you used to write the songs, yes, but now I used you to don't write, write them. them anymore. No, I you just I, sing them off the cuff. I just sing them off, and I think it's because of practice. And the producers I've worked in have worked so much on okay. me. Mm. With the record labels I've been with, they mm. have contributed so much to my life. Mm. Yeah. So when you when you come to the office sometimes and you're singing your songs, what do colleagues like this uh, say? Uh, <laughs> Do they complain that something is getting wrong with you? <laughs> no, they know what I do. Okay. I've been working with them for a while now, so they understand my way of life. Even mm. Met Lugana understands my way of life. Okay. From my hospital also, right. Richard yeah, Novak, okay. they understand my way of life, okay. so it's fine. Mm. How, how do you look, if I ask you to run an assessment of the Ghanaian music scene, what would you say, is it favorable, is it not? It, it hadn't been easy. If it was so, so, so favorable, then I should have been a superstar by now because okay. I started nine and a half years ago mm -hmm. and I am here. I'm not in a, in a pinnacle yet, 
I'm still, I'm still trying to push my way through with the help of the media. Right. And it has not been easy because we know that our structures are very tight. To get to the top is very tight. Mm. Promo is very tight. Production in the studio is very tight. Right. Trying to weed the heart of the people, trying to make the people accept you. Mm. Your branding, these are things Maybe that... Maybe it's because of the kind of songs you do. They don't like it. Don't you think that people don't like no, the song? No, the people love, love my song. song. <laughs> they like your the song? The people, they love my song. Okay. They love my song. It's just that I've not had, I've not gotten the platforms, the audience to listen to what I have. Mm. But, but I believe, I believe strong, strong. Would you, would so you give up nursing to focus on music? Give up nursing? No. If I would have given up nursing, I would have done that long ago. But I'm, I'm still able to do these two things. It is not actually because of the money or anything. It's because I like humanitarian works. Okay. And nursing is, is, is one, of, mm. one of a kind. Okay. And the music also. I sing to touch the lives of people. Right. That's what I do. Because I know my message is bless the life of people. Talk about carry me away. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's it. Who carried you away? Tell <laughs> <me>. <laughs> okay. That song is, is actually the concept is trying to explain the mystery behind love. Okay. You know. Because love is, is, is a beautiful thing at one time, okay. and at another time it can hurt you so badly. Mm. I know you're married, but I know that you've, you've had a few hitches <laughs> somewhere in your life, like in your, in your relationship life. Mm. You know how, life, uh, how love life has treated you at one point mm. and at another point. So I was just trying to explain the mystery behind it. So it, it was not actually about my personal life. I was looking at what is going on in our society. Okay. Like in my first, second verse, I said, these days I love you, you it's need to too sing common. It. You need to sing it. These days I love you too common, mm -hmm. too common. And that be the reason why plenty broken hearts too common. Uh -huh. <laughs> but sister, take your time, don't rush you. It be the real man you know before your panty. Love is patient and kind. Of the right to Ah, so it's, it's the real man. You look for the real man, not for, for, for the one. Yeah, if it's, if it's the real man, he's not going to chase you for your punani, you know. Ah, okay. So, right, yeah. see. These days I love you to come on. And that be the reason why plenty broken hearts to come on. Uh -huh. Sister, take your time, don't rush you. If be the real man, no before your panty. Love is patient and kind. Of. The right woman will follow you for money. So, so now let's talk about what the future looks like for you. Uh, Carry Me Away is getting a lot of airplay, it's getting a lot of responses. What does the future look like? If it was the plan, the future most definitely is promising, it's bright, it's great, it's going to be glorious and beautiful. Not for only me, for all the people who are working, who are contributing to my life. Because it's going to bless a lot of people also, mm. not for only me. Mm. I am looking at myself rubbing shoulders with the kind of the Jikos, the Sarkodiers, okay. the Shatawales, the Stone Boys, mm. the Whiskeys, mm. and the new boys in the industry now, wow. they're doing so amazing. The Kim mm. Promis, mm. the Kwesi Athers, Kades, the Pami Yujin, wow. it's so awesome. Mm. I love it. So you want, to, you want to play in that league? I want to rub shoulders with them. I, I, I want to be one day, one day, mm. I want to be one of the biggest Afrobeat artists coming from Africa. Mm. What, what do you say to those who think that, well, music is a talent and so they don't need education to sharpen and hone it? Okay. Education is not everything. Education, okay, going to school is not everything, actually. Mm. But it, has, it equips you, it, it, it gives you a wider scope mm. to do a lot of things. If you say you have talent, okay, and you say because of that you're going to drop out of school, mm. it's not advisable. Okay. Talent can feed you, mm. yes it can, but what if it doesn't feed you? What do you do? Mm. It's wrong. And you can be talented, mm. but your educational status gives you the opportunity to be able to, to, to stand in certain places, mm. which you cannot. For instance, somebody who is not educated, for instance, you cannot speak English, you cannot write. Okay. How are you able to, how, how is it possible that you could, you could sit with dignitaries mm. and have a conversation or have to deal with legal issues right. where you have to read and understand without somebody having to be your interpreter? So you, you need it. Every single artist needs okay. to go to school. Mm. You need it. If you have the opportunity, yes, you have to. Mm. I know some people don't have the opportunity, 
but to everybody, I think it's very, very important. Right. It is very, very important. You, you had your training here, a bit of it in Germany as well. Yes, please. But you came back. The systems are more favorable in Germany. But yeah. you came back home. Yes. I, why, I, I, why did you come home? A service to my people. Mm. A service to my people. This is where I'm from. I mean, Germany is already... You grew up here in Sogakopa? No, I grew up in Ho. Ho, okay. Yes. Right. I grew up in Ho. And I, I just had a training in... Uh, theater surgery, mm -hmm. assistant in theater surgery in Germany. But I mean, this is our home. This is where we need to develop. Right. I'm not against all the people. Forward on these budding talents in the coming days here on TV3 New Day. But remember that tomorrow, Friday, the 10th of March, uh, May, uh, Community Connect will be live from Medina Market. We're talking about the decongestion of the Medina space as well as the uh, women in governance and politics as well as the uh, disbursement of a 3% common fund accountability of the same. And we will be out there tomorrow at 8 a.m. Don't miss it. Come and let your voice be heard. Community Connect is helping solve all your community problems. We'll see you after the break.